Well, Chris Hennessy, man, I think you're a superhero in life. You know, I mean, we, we we have all these heroes, you know, we have on television and on baseball fields or whatever, but we don't, you know, sort of glorify real superheroes, people who are who do something in life that's bigger than them and work on a problem that is bigger than them and they're not doing it for money or anything and, and I just want to congratulate you for what you're doing. Uh, it's such important work that you're doing because if other people learn how to get through tragedies like you and your family have, I mean, that is the nicest gift, I think, that you could give to the rest of us because we don't get any training in that. The only people that train for bad stuff are the people like in the Rangers and the Marines or something, you know, <laughs> we never get this training. Yeah, it's a really good point. Yeah, and so you, you, you really are doing this film, you're crowdfunding for the film, uh, Touched by Hannah, and it's really a, a training film on, for the rest of us to start learning how to deal with all the bad stuff that's going to happen to his life because it's going to happen one way or another probably right you know matthew you really hit on something there and i you you come across as the type of guy that just does what he feels is the right thing to do to, to make every situation fun and learning i mean if i if i wasn't having fun you know learning from you i might not want to even learn yeah. And when all of a sudden you're thrust into a situation where your life is on the line and then your daughter's wife is on the line, I automatically just was able to stay calm and focused and be myself. And myself is a classic kind of goofy ad lib. Oh, really? That kind of guy. <laughs> who loves life. And during some of the most crazy times of my life, I made myself, the doctors and the nurses, completely crack up and laugh. But it must and have I, devastated. It but it must have devastated you too. I mean, you, I mean, you're human. You must have had all that bad shit inside of you that was going on. You know, um, three weeks after I had <clears throat> cancer surgery at Stanford Hospital, my daughter Hannah was born three months premature, and that first two nights of Hannah's life were the first two times in my life that I prayed myself to sleep. Wow. You know, you're right. I was scared to death. This was my little girl. And I had people tell me, but you have three kids. If she doesn't make it, it's okay. But you know, and I know, as soon as your kid is born, you love that kid just like you love the other ones. And I, there's nothing I love like I love my kids. And I'm getting chills right now because that little girl was in there fighting for her life. And I was scared to death, but I didn't let that get in the way. I don't even know why. I just had, I just was able to, you know, maintain my calm, maintain myself, and just hope and pray that things were going to turn out okay. And made everybody not be stressed. That was but a big. Your daughter at that point weighed, weighed what? A pound and a half. Correct. Wow. I mean, God, a pound and a half. And and how long was that before you knew that? she had a chance. I mean, it must have been, uh, I have no idea. We were in the intensive part of intensive care at Good Samaritan Hospital in San Jose for about a month and a half. Oh, wow. So the, she's in what's called the NICU unit, neonatal intensive care unit. She was in the real heavy duty room for about four to six weeks. And that entire time, was very difficult. It was like being on the front lines in Afghanistan or Iran because we saw babies that didn't make it. We saw parents that were devastated. We saw babies that were, you know, gonna have a, a brutal rest of their life. And the doctor said to me, he said, Mr. Hennessy, your daughter is fighting for her life right now. And I didn't like to hear that. And then he also said, he gave us right away, these are all the possibilities of the lifetime of illness your daughter is going to have. Oh, oh, well, thanks, and, we, Doc. <laughs> and, and it was a brutal thing to hear. And we went, back to the, we went back to my wife's hospital room. And my wife said, no, she's going to have this and that. And, and you know what? 
I don't know why I did this or how I did this, but right then I put my foot down and I said, no, that hasn't happened and that's not going to happen. I had some kind of a confidence and, you know, let's be positive about this and, and let's, you know, for us, I am Christian, so let's pray about this and everything is going to turn out fine. I, I don't know what, where that came from, but that's what happened. <laughs> well, that's right. well, it's in you and, and you're bringing it out. And I, I think that's right. Bad times bring, you know, can bring out the worst or the best in us, you know, depending on the situation. <laughs> and so it obviously brought out the best in you. And it, it, it's so wonderful, I think, that you found a way to share this more than just for your immediate family by working on this film now and you're raising money on indiegogo you know to do this and uh the campaign's gonna go start it by the time people see this and, and so you have it now a, a video of a docudrama right on this whole process because you've collected film on the on the whole process no no no, no not necessarily no. when i was diagnosed with aggressive cancer I did think documentary, documentary, <laughs> but I, I didn't have what I just didn't have what yeah. it took to put it together. So I do have footage of myself and Hannah, but a docudrama I see. basically recreates those main scenes that happened. Right. I'm going to play me. Um, Hannah's going to play the current Hannah, and I am going to have actors that are going to play those other parts. But even that, you know, I think the neatest thing you have is this song that Hannah has on your website. You know, uh, what is it? Chris Hennessy? No, no, it's touchedbyhannah.com. If you go there, that, that great uh, video <laughs> of that song that she sings. If you go to touchedbyhannah.com, you not only will be able to click on an icon and go to the Indiegogo campaign and help us out, um, and click on my LinkedIn to check me out and uh, whatever whatever the other things that we have, uh, probably this podcast. But also on the video page, Chris's videos, on the top of the page, I had a very talented musician that wrote a song and recorded a song for Hannah. And this past winter, I filmed Hannah and we created a music video. And it, it's a real must-see because you're going to see a little girl who's playing guitar, who plays basketball, who wants to do everything. <laughs> this is the one who never was going to make it by the doctors. You know, and it was started out life was <laughs> only a pound and a half. My gosh. And dad was, you know, on his deathbed with cancer, a bad case of uh, cancer. And uh, I just think it's a remarkable achievement you're doing now. And, and what a way to share you know, with what you had to go through with the rest of us, because that makes us grow, I feel. It makes other people learn from your experience and see, and that it gives us courage when it happens to us. So I, I appreciate what you're doing. And I got to tell you, Matthew, can I say something? Right. What you just said is you're 100% right. When stuff like this happens, Man, you have to have the courage to stand up and be positive. And my film, besides telling an amazing story about some amazing people, you know, it, it, prostate cancer to men is like breast cancer to oh, women. Oh, absolutely. No, I worry about it Did you know, did you know, because most people don't know and don't think about this, prostate cancer is the number two killer of men. Oh, well, well get, get that, that checkup, checkup man. man. It's, it's easy to get, get that, that checkup. checkup right? 32,000 men a year in the, 32,000 men a year in the United States alone wow. die of prostate cancer. Wow. And well, one more thing with yeah. premature, premature birth, wow. one, in ten, one in 10 babies are born premature. Now, most of them aren't micro premature like yeah. Hannah. But if all women that got pregnant were aware that this could happen and they did little things like not travel after five months being yeah. pregnant, a lot more babies could be saved. Well, wonderful, Chris. Well, it's touchedbyhannah.com. Go down there and, and click through to Indiegogo and support your campaign and watch that film of your daughter singing her Matthew, music I love video. You Matthew Lesko, Matthew Lesko, I love you a little bit more than a lot. <laughs> well, Hey! <laughs> Love you, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank Matt. you so much. An honor. Thank you.